You kill someone, you do the time. But it wasn't as simple as that. There were contributing factors. In the early 80s, I met Louis, head doorman of the biggest club in town. You want a tumble? Yeah, that's what I thought. He ran the door with his team. Rob, who had a high moral code for a bouncer. How much? What do you think my name is? Sparky. And then there was Sparky. These guys were family and the club was their home. You're nothing. You're nobody. At the time, I had neither. You got the house, the car, the kids. What I get, I rise up and it's some shit or somewhere. My wife hated me and my kids didn't have a real dad. We'll never get a home. Dad's weak, in it. No one they could respect. You have a look. What's happened? The man at club did it. The boys took me in and gave me back some spine. What do you reckon them girls, eh? That he's gonna be a bouncer. Fucking have that. Finish your drinks off. Yeah, you. Edbot. He's been texting my legs again. I've got no control over what Rob does. You don't have the chat with him. I'll have the chat with him. I'm not responsible enough. And my kids. I can stop you seeing him any time I want. I need you to pack a bag of Rob? Who's dealing? You said you knew about it. So what are you saying to me then, Danny? Next time, it won't be just Picasso on your front room wall. He comes near my kids. What's going on, Danny? What have you done? You right there, bad stuff, Hey, I don't know. I'm going to shoot you through the end. <laughs>